focus today on humility, on what it means. And I'm going to start with a, a writer called John Dixon. He's a writer from Sydney, and he's the uh, public face, if you will, of the Center for Public Christianity. What that means is when the media wants a Christian response to something, they'll often go to John Dixon for the reasonable Christian response. There's enough loonies out there that they don't need a, they don't need a special person to go to. But he's a really good writer. And what a lot of people don't know about him is that, in, academically speaking, his first love is history. He's a, got a PhD in, in history. And one of his books, he charts the, the rise of a modern value, the value of humility. It's about 2,000 years old, perhaps stretching the definition of the word modern, but it's a modern value in that sense. And he locates its origins in the teachings of Jesus. You see, prior to that, humility was a survival trait. When you went before the king, you were humble. Or you had your head chopped off. It made sense. But there was no notion that a king would ever be humble. A king would be proud and arrogant and domineering. A king would be at the top and so had no need to be humble. There was no need that humility was an inherent value. And then the teachings of Jesus are inserted into humanity and now we think of hum humility as something that's a value. But what is it? Some people have this picture of humility that it's like, oh, I'm a terrible person. I can't get anything right. I'm, just, I'm, I'm terrible. Everything I do is wrong. But that's low self-esteem. And that's, that's a sign of someone who's been socially and spiritually battered to a point where they're broken inside. That's not a value. That's something that needs to be repaired with care and healing. It's a very different thing. Other people think humility is like a cloak you put on and you go, Oh, I'm a terrible person. Everything I do is wrong. Secretly, what they want is their friends to go, Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. You're a lovely person. You know, it was just bad luck. They want to, be, they want to have their friends to gather around and build them up. And look, it's nice that our friends respond in that way. It's not so good when uh, we have to manipulate people to get positive feedback. It doesn't say good things about us. It says good things about our friends, but not about us. And the problem with that is that we think humility is this false bending down. It's not. Humility is, is standing as tall as you can. Knowing yourself and your value and how incredible you are and standing as tall as you can. But we're measuring ourselves against God and the amazingness of God, not against other people. You see, we have this tendency as human beings to look at the people around us and go, I'm better than he is. I'm pretty cool. I'm prettier than she is. Or, I'm not as pretty as she is. Oh. He's smarter than me. Oh. You see, we measure ourselves against the people next to us. That's not humility. Humility is standing tall and measuring ourselves against God. It's a very different thing. So when we measure ourselves against God, we start to recognize that the, that the differences, if you will, between us and the people around us, pretty insignificant. And so the differences we might experience between us and somebody who was born in a country that's been damaged by war and violence means nothing. The differences between us and a person who, who may have made some different choices in life and has ended up on the streets counts for nothing. And so when we see those people, instead of going, well, I guess I'm better than them, aren't I? What we see is somebody who's like us, 
are hurting. And when we're hurting, what we want is somebody to reach out to us. When we're down, we want somebody to reach out to us and give us a hand so we can stand up. When we're hungry, we want somebody to, to provide us with food. When we're cold, warmth. And when we see somebody else, if we are truly humble, standing tall, measuring ourselves against God, we see our brother or sister in need. We don't see somebody that we are better than. We see our brother or sister in need. And then we want to reach out our hands to help. Because we are humble, not because we are amazing, we might be, but that's not our motive. Our motive is because our sister is hurting, our brother is in need. And we measure ourselves not against them, but against God. So that's humility. As a human species, we're still trying to get our heads around it because it's only 2,000 years old. It takes us a while to learn. But humility is standing tall, measured against God, and seeing everyone, fortunate or unfortunate, hurting or helping, as our brother and sister in God. And then we want to help because of who we are, who they are, and most importantly, who God is. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.